No, I read this article yesterday. I didn't have time to post it, but it's going to get pretty interesting if they don't get this pipeline up and running. But the powers that be are basically making things happening for those who are not ready for what comes next. So a lot of <clears throat> a lot of this stuff is just testing the waters, right? When you're kind of setting up a new system, you know, you kind of want to work, work out the kinks, give things a little bit of a test drive before you go ahead and go pedal to the metal. And it says ransomware attack forces shutdown of the largest fuel pipeline in the U.S. It says the colonial transport nearly half of the East Coast fuel supply through a system that spans over 5,500 miles between Texas and New Jersey. It says the colonial, the colonial uh, pipeline fell victim to a cybersecurity attack on Friday that involved ransomware, for, forcing it to temporarily shut down all pipeline operations. Transport, it says the pipeline transports gasoline, diesel, home heating oil, and jet fuel. It also supplies the military. Colonial said that it had contracted law enforcement, it had contacted law enforcement and other federal agencies and is working to restore the service. And of course, El Presidente Select was uh, was made aware. And so this is this is a huge deal. I can just imagine what's going to happen on Monday when uh, the stock market opens up and realizes that there's uh, we've got a new supply chain shortage between half of the country you get the whole from as far as texas all the way to the east coast that this pipeline was hacked and they had to basically shut it down and as it says it's, it's gasoline jet fuel supplies the military and as soon as i heard this i thought food i mean because they come in on those big trucks especially to major cities like here in new york right Things are going to get pretty interesting. And if you're not ready, you better get ready. And I talked to some of the people at the hospital and I tell, tell them about stuff like this. And just like a lot of people are just oblivious. They're just like going through the motions. It's just like one day just bleeds into the next. Most people don't even pay attention to what goes on in the news. They either don't watch the news or don't watch anything. And they're completely, completely oblivious to what's going on around them. Or they're just drinking the kool-aid and there's, there's no way to help them but i always keep my eye out on stuff like this it's gonna get pretty interesting the whole northeastern part of the country has basically lost <laughs> their pipeline let's see how long it takes them to get it up we saw what happened in texas with just one week people were losing their minds it's gonna happen when there's no fuel right can't get to work Trucks can't get in, not enough fuel to go from Texas, maybe all the way to here, drop off and come back. What does that present for food prices, for gas prices, right? Thankfully, it's not the winter right, where people need all that heating oil. But in some places, it might be a little bit colder than others. I have to wait and see what the, what the narrative is, the narrative is going to be moving forward. But hey, best to be prepared. Best to be prepared.